Hi everyone, I welcome you back to this channel Technical Drawing Masterclass. Uh, today we are going to look at how to draw a roof plan. So I'm going to use this uh, one bedroom house as our example and it's from this that we shall draw the roof plan. Um, in our in those uh, last four videos that I, 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 I made, I showed you how you can draw this same floor plan. Then uh, also I showed you how you can draw uh, the front elevation from this uh, floor plan. So uh, today I'm going to show you how you can draw the roof plan of uh, this one bedroom house. So let's get started and I'll show you exactly how you can go over it. So as you can see, uh, I have these lines right here. Um, they, they are offset at a distance of um, 600 millimeters yeah, from um, the external walls. So these are the lines that I'm going to use uh, to draft out uh, the roof plan because I'm going to take uh, the offset of the roof from the external walls at 600. So it will be a good deal like for me to use this, these lines. So uh, let me highlight these lines. So when you're done with highlighting them, um, we shall um, click at the copy command. Then always make sure that your auto mode is on. Then I'll just click at one of the corners right there. So I'll just drag this one uh, right here. Okay. So after that, I'll click at the layer command. Then I'll select a layer for roof. Then I'll click at the line command still. Then from this point right there, I'll deselect uh, my layer for the mode. Then I'll, I'll, I'll draw a line of any length. But then it should be at an angle of 45. Okay. So I'll copy this line right here. Then also, I'll draw another line of any length, but it should be at an angle of 45 still. Then, I'll copy the same uh, line right here. Then also, right there. Other place, then also right here. Then there is uh, another line that I need to place at this point, like that. So after that, Okay, so um, right now, you see, I'm trying to come up with uh, the roof ridge, yeah, how the roof ridge will be uh, running across the roof. So right now, from this point right here, I'll draw, line. activate my layer, my command for auto mod such that I can have a perpendicular line that is perfect. Then after that, also, I'll draw another line right here. Then I'll activate that line. Then I'll trim off that one. Then also, I'll select those lines, 
then I'll trim off those excess lines okay then I'll do the same thing right here I'm trying to do away with the excess lines to avoid confusion so after that I'll draw also this horizontal line then after that from this point right here I'm going to draw I mean I'm going to insert there a line from um, this point here I'll, I'll copy this same line right there okay you find that from this point we are going to draw another line to meet here So if you're keen enough, you'll, you'll, you you notice that uh, if you draw a, a line from this point up to this point, you find that uh, the angle will be 90. So after that, I just need to uh, highlight these lines. Yeah. Then I'll do the trimming. I also don't need that line. This one. No. I don't need to trim off that one. Then I don't need these ones. And also this one. So I'll just highlight these ones and I delete them. So you find that um, I have my roof plan, my roof reach uh, properly set right now. So I'm going to highlight this line. So I'll offset it at a distance of uh, 25 this side and also 25 this side. Then I'll do the same thing right here. So I'm going to be a little bit faster. Such that I don't make the video too long. Okay, so when you're done with uh, uh, offsetting those lines, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them proper, like to trim off and remove all these lines that are excess and make make the drawing so so neat. So maybe I'll highlight everything. Then I'll click at the trim command. So when you're done with uh, the trimming, 
um, I'm going to do some extensions of lines such that uh, my roof fridge can be properly uh, drawn. So I'll highlight those lines. Then I'll click at this arrow next to the trim command such that I can access my extend command. So I'll extend those lines. Then I'll do the same thing here. Then after that, at this point right here, I'll click at this line. Then I'll extend it downwards. Then I'll click at the extend command. I have it right there. Then also, I'll trim it off that excess part of the line then at this point I'll stretch this one up to that point then I'll trim off I'll highlight this part of the line then I'll delete it then I'll do the same thing right here I'll stretch out this line then I'll click at the extend command, I extend this line until it meets this line that I've just uh, extended. Okay, so I'll highlight both lines, then I'll click at the trim command, I trim off that excess part of the line, I highlight this one, then I delete it. I hope we're all moving at the same pace so after that what i'm left with is uh, to indicate some arrows to show um the the fall of the roof at the edges yeah so i'll just need to create uh, an arrow manually so i'll put it okay let me use still the roof layer so i'll click at the rectangle command or let me use the line command then i'll use a line of length 1500 millimeters then i'll draw an arrow of now just mirror this one this side then i'll click now then i'll put in a fill of that arch yeah i've created this arrow for the sake of the video yeah but you can create your own arrow that is best fit for you then i'll, I'll rotate it at that angle of 90 okay, yeah. then i'll move it right here let me first deselect my layer for auto mode then i'll move it right there okay then I'll mirror it I mean I'll copy it this side that side man that side then from here I'll rotate it like that so Remove it right there. Then also, I'll move it right there. Then I'll do the same thing right here. 
I'll click at it, then I rotate it in this direction. Then I'll move it and I place it right there. So I'll do the same thing right here. So right now, I'll use my layer for text. Then I'll type in fall. Maybe I'll give it a height of 200 millimeters. Then I'll move it right there. Then I'll highlight it. Then I'll click at the copy command. Then I'll copy it this side. And also I'll do the same thing this side and also this side. I'll press escape. Then I'll highlight that uh, text. Then I'll rotate it in this direction. Then I'll move it right there. Still, I'll highlight it. Then I'll push it inside. Then also, I'll highlight this text. I'll rotate it in this direction. I'll move it right there. Then for this one, I'll just move it uh, just in front of that arrow. Okay, right there. So next, I'm going to put in the fill, like the hatch. So um, I'll click at the layer command. Then I select my layer for hatch. Then I'll click at the hatch command. Then, um, I want to use this hatch that I used here at the front elevation. So, I'll look for that hatch. which is right here so when you get done maybe uh, we shall increase the scale to 1000 yeah I think this one will work for us then just uh, click in these uh, spaces between the those ridges okay so you find that uh, um, we have our roof here. So, uh, what we are left with is uh, to, to to put uh, the grid lines and also to do uh, some naming. So, to, do, to put the grid lines, this is the simplest method that I always use. I'll just highlight these grid lines from uh, the, the, the floor plan. Then I'll click at the copy command. Then I'll click at this point. I'm using it as my reference point. Then I'll just uh, move it up to this point. So because uh, remember that uh, I use this these external lines 
are the ones that I used. Um, they're, they're in the same position, like these ones. Um, if you have been following from the start, you can really get what I'm trying to make. So uh, when you're done, we shall uh, put some dimensions. So I'll click at my layer for dimensions right there. So I'll click at the dimension command. And from this point right here, up to this point here, I raise it up there. So I'm going to be a little bit faster such that I don't make this video too long. So uh, we, I'm done with uh, putting the dimensions. So what I'm going to do is to put uh, uh, some text, yeah, to indicate uh, the roof ridge, to indicate the heaped uh, part of the roof, then the valley part of the roof. Okay. Yeah. So I'll get my layer for text, then. I'll click at the annotation tab, then I'll click at this arrow at the leader section, then I'll click at modify, okay, I have it already set, so I'll just close this dialog box, then I'll click at that arrow right there. Then right here, I'll put in refrigerate. Then maybe I'll try to increase its height to um, two hundred. Yeah that it can be um, visible then also I'll name the roof material as iron sheets then also, I'll indicate the angle at which they are inclined um, on the roof trusses. So, I'll put in iron sheets at
katika page yango roof trusses structure engineers details so right here i'll highlight one of the circles so let's push it up then then i'll try to reduce it to that now then i think it's fine right here and also this one i'll give it a height of 200 just to make it uniform with the other one that i first put yeah i think that way it's 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 fine then also um i'll indicate this one as valley and I give it a, a height of 200 millimeters then this one I will indicate it as a hip so I think uh, we are soon coming to the end of this video so right now what I'm left with is to name our drawing. So I'll just copy this uh, text from here from the floor plan. Then I'll just transfer it right here. Let me push it a little bit down here. Yeah. Then I'll double click at it. Then I'll remove the ground floor. Then I'll put in roof. Yeah. So don't mind about the scale. Um, I was trying. I was trying to fit it on a certain uh, size of the paper, but uh, in your drawing you can uh, always put it at any scale that is favorable for you and always make sure that you use standard scales okay so um i'll try to move it right here okay yeah i think this is it um thanks for watching and please if you have really found something helpful and it has added value to you please um don't forget to like the video uh, also you can share this kind of content to your friends and relatives that you feel like they are in need of this kind of content then also um feel free always to watch the, these videos if you have really not understood anything please you watch and also um, if you feel like uh, there is something i've left out always uh, let me know in the comment section thanks for watching we'll meet next time